Welcome back to Euro Truck. Whoa, stop. <laughs> yeah, this episode's gonna go great. Welcome back to uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 with me, Stocker Gloss. How are you? Um, yes, I, I haven't managed to see some of the comments that you guys have been leaving me um, because I'm uh, recording this in, in one hit, as it were. So please carry on leaving the comments and I'll pick them up in the next episode. Just need to be able to. Carry on our drive. I can't see, so I think we should just go for it. Oh, no. Let's go for it. Yeah. Okay. We're off or we're going. So none of my settings have changed. I'm still using the same buttons, which is a bit of a pain. But uh, it's working-ish. Don't know if you can hear me pressing, you know, using the gears and stuff. My apologies if you can. I'm also not even sure what uh, mods I've got installed. You know. Want to be in that? No, go into ten. Hour uh, ago, cruise control at forty. Thirty-seven miles an hour is the uh, looks to be the uh, the speed limit. So I'll go on forty or just a couple of miles off off the uh, off the speed limit or over the speed limit. But uh, we've got to be. Yeah, you know, I'm sure there's somebody who. Uh, they're not going to do us for doing, you know, being three miles an hour over the speed limit. I'm sure. It's uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. It's 27 degrees outside, so it's fairly hot, and uh, we are on our route to Lyon. We got a load of timber, and thankfully we've only crashed a few times while using the G27 steering wheel. And um, yeah, I'm start I'm starting to get the hang of it, which is a good sign. I've got the uh, the gear stick on my right hand side, which is a bit weird for for us UK people because um, normally we uh, we have the gear stick on our left, not on our right. Um, but uh, I think a lot of European and uh, and maybe stateside are used to having the gear stick on the on the right hand side. That's probably why we got so many right handed people in the UK. Maybe no no no, I yeah. Uh, I doubt that's the case. Because I do like Jesus, you know, my right hand for, uh, yeah, my right hand for the uh, for the steering. Okay. Oh, we're going over train crossing. My my steering wheel is going to go a bit nuts now. Yep. Yeah, no, out. Yep. Yep. There we go. <laughs> I love the feedback. Oh, what a beautiful game. What a beautiful day. It's not raining. 27 degrees. We're driving to the south of France. We're driving to a city that we've never been before. How long? How many episodes have we been playing this game? And How long have we been playing it for? And uh, This is the first time we've gone to Lyon. Well, hopefully that lorry in front is going to speed up a bit because we're catching it fairly quick. Yeah, south of France is a beautiful place to go. Me and the wife's been there uh, on holiday. We went uh, over to Saint Tropez, Monaco. Oh, you seem like a right jet setter, but no, we actually drove. We actually drove to the uh, south of France, and we thought we can hit it in one day. We thought, yeah, yeah, we'll leave, and then we'll just just keep travelling until we get there. It'll be fine. Oh, nearly. I think I, I can't remember how many, how many hours it was, but we needed to stop for a, for a snooze because uh, it is a long way. France is massive. 
Okay, good. He's turned off. And we're going left by the look of it. Okay, not this left, obviously. Uh... Okay. To Mets or Reams. You let me go? Oh, thank you, matey. <laughs> I got really quiet because there's so much things, so many things to do. But we're uh, we're okay. We're six minutes into the video and we haven't crashed yet. That's a that's a good sign. Oh, I don't like. I think tenth is probably my favorite gear. Okay, speed warnings. But uh, it looks like 56 is the uh, maximum speed. We're going to stick at 50. Have a nice, uh, a nice drive down. I'm not quite sure what road we're on. Um, be interesting to see what motorway we're on. We'll go in the slow lane. Wow, look at all those power cables. Wow. Okay, we're on a, uh, Ah, this is the Paris. I doubt we're going to Paris. We're going... I think we're going further south than Paris. So uh, we'll come off this lane into the middle. Head to Dijon and Reims. Dijon. You can get Dijon mustard, can't you? That's... Is that the same place? French mustard? Dijon mustard? Maybe. I see you can see the steering wheel move. Like, literally, I, I, it's really hard to explain. Um, and it's a really weird feeling that, that you're moving the steering wheel like you would in a car. You know, so you react to like all the bumps in the road, you react to as you go around a corner, obviously you just don't turn the steering wheel right you know, right over, but you got that proportionality about it. So you, you see a, a slight little kink in the road and you just you know, give you give your steering wheel just a slight little move. But even when you're straight, you're still moving, you know, for, for you're compensating on um, how the vehicle's moving. You're just not leaving the steering wheel in this in the in the middle position for it to go straight. You're still still moving. I, I quite like that. Um, that is pretty cool. I can't see from the sat nav where what road we're on. I think it's N N104, I think. But we're past France now. I need to get in the slow lane so people are undertaking me and overtaking me. But I'm quite happy with this uh, with this speed. This is a nice built up uh, built up place. You can see a lot of the skyscrapers and stuff around. Wow, these roads are busy. <laughs> I'm quite lucky the uh, AI is not out to get me as of yet. Okay, so that was probably Paris, what we see, we've just driven past, all the skyscrapers and the rather big city. Now we want to go left here. I'm sorry, orange car. And it looks like we want to go right down the next. 
Okay, we can only go that way anyway. to eighth. Come around the corner. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Ah. I <laughs> just hang on. <laughs> Whoops. Um, my steering wheel has come loose. Where are I? <laughs> there we go. I've tightened it. Oh, I didn't deserve that. That was so not my fault. Okay. We're on the move again. Ah, I jinxed it by saying six minutes in and we haven't crashed yet. Okay. <laughs> Just ripped the steering wheel from my desk. Oh no! As if, like, you know, I can have an effect on what happens in the game. Wait. Oh. Oh, I'm all flustered now. I was doing so well. Oh, gosh. Okay, I wonder how much this is going to cost. Uh, enter. Thank you. Oh, that was fun. We don't need to park. Well, I think we're fully rested. We're okay. We're only on the road for about three hours, so... I want to go into 11th. Cruise control at about 52, 53. There we go. Get into the slow lane. Jobs are good in. And we're back uh, back on the highway between two white lines. Life's good. Uh, 200 meters we got. Uh, we're coming off. Looks like we're going straight on, so I'll start uh, indicating into the middle in a second. There we go. Okay, so you can see the uh, the rev counter is uh, in the green, which is where you want it to be. the game stuttering thing going on there <laughs> oh game hopefully I'm gonna be uh, better better at this you know in the next few videos you're gonna see a vast improvement I'm gonna get all my buttons in the right order in the right way and uh, you guys are going to be like, oh, Stocko, you're a pro. And I may even uh, do a few live streams with the uh, with this setup. In the, you know, so you can see on a webcam of me messing up completely. But let me know if you want me to uh, maybe have a go at using the track, Tracker No IR or something it's called. It's a program which uses the webcam that you've got um, to basically look, see where your face is and, and, uh, and track your face. The trouble is, it works a treat, but you know, I, I, I tend to move quite a lot. <laughs> and uh, when my face is going to the screen, that's, that's not a good thing. Ok, 
Okay, I'm sure I'm gonna get them for speeding. We just need to get there now and get paid. Because uh, we are in debt. We're in serious debt. So yeah, the buttons that I need to sort of work out really is the uh, is the handbrake. I, I need a handbrake on, on on the steering wheel, I think. Because it's amazing, you just don't really you don't really worry about it when you're using a controller. You just keep your finger on the brake, but it's so hard uh, when you've only got two feet and three pedals to try and pull off. Um. You got to, you know, especially when you stored stored it like, whoa, sorry car, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, especially when you stored it like I did. Oh, it's quarter past five in the afternoon. Oh, what are you breaking for, car? Oh, looks like we're going straight on. Running uh, a. Is it A4 or A6? I think it's the A4. Or A6. A6. Oh, we'll go for, a, we'll go for A6. That's where we are. So if anybody from, uh, from France is watching, we're on the A6 at the moment, heading towards Lyon. So if you're driving, then... Uh, Yep, if I was you, I'd pull over and wait for me to get there because it is not safe me driving using this G27 steering wheel. It's getting, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Oh, can you imagine what I was like? Can you remember what I was like um, when I first started playing this game with the Xbox controller? Oh, it was awful. Absolutely terrible. So again, like the last episode, I'd like you to... Uh, Rate me on this journey from zero to ten. Um, zero being, you know, you, you really do never need to play this game ever again. Uh, to ten, as in, you know, you're so awesome, you just don't need to play this game. You could play this game blindfolded and make it look awesome. So zero to ten, peeps. That's what we want. Of course, you know, I'm going to go downstairs and tell the wife that I nailed the game using the G27, saying, "Oh yeah, yeah, I was definitely, I was eleven out of ten. I was awesome." But some of you may have a different view on that. I don't know. Oh, wow. Train going by. Well, we don't need to park up. I, th I don't think we're so... We're, I don't think we're tired. We've got uh, plenty of fuel for 639 miles, I think. No, 897 miles. We've got 639 litres in the tank. So we're good for nearly 900 miles. Now I know Leon's quite far away, but I don't think it's that far away. Whoa. Wow, you can feel it in the steering wheel. You know, going over the rumble strips, you can actually, uh, you can feel it go on the steering wheel. And it kind of pulls you in a little bit as well, uh, as it probably would do in real life. See the sun's going down shortly, six o'clock. Uh, just uh, travel back from Aberdeen uh, not so long ago, and that was uh, that was pretty awesome. Uh, the the plane that um, I left on, I, I travelled from Birmingham to Aberdeen, and uh, I was on a De Havilland D D C H eight. Hopefully that means something to somebody, or D H D C H to eight or something. I know it's a De Havilland eight, and I had. It was a prop plane. I had uh, two propellers. I've never been on a prop plane before. Oh, that was fun. Yeah. That was uh, that was quite a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. It probably doesn't go as fast as the the, uh, the jet the jet engine type planes, but um, I had less earache. Like I suffer my ears flying. 
and I think what it is is to do with the uh, with the landing. You know that when you come to uh, when you come to land, they just it seems like they just like fill the uh, fill the cabin full of uh, pressure or something, and my ears just kind of go, Bleh. and I'm forever trying to yawn and 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 do something in my ears, but. I didn't get it really with the prop plane, so I think it might be something with, to do with the jet that uh, my ears is having a problem with. Whoops! <gasps> whoa! 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 How? How did I miss? How and why was that car just stopped in the middle of the road? Uh, how? Uh, the Euro Truck gods are looking after me today. Oh, incredible. Ooh. Okay. I think my uh my reactions need to be applauded there. Danger adverted. Ah, oh, I could have gone angry. I could have that could have written my truck off. That could have gone badly. Need to get up to about 52 miles an hour again. Oh, wow. Okay, back to the story. So, yeah, I think uh, the uh, the jet planes tend to mess my ears up on the descent, probably more than uh, the prop planes. But being on two planes in one day, you know, flying at the same, you know, flying up and coming back the same day, I don't know if that had anything to do with it. But I had really bad earache. On, uh... whoa, I'm turning off. Okay. Um. We're arse farting here. Oh, no, that's 12. No, that's 12. That's 10. I want 8. Oh, maybe not. That's too fast for 8. Um, but, uh, yeah. Maybe it had something to do with it. Hill, go into 11th. Yeah, I like. So um, so yeah, it may have something to do with it. I don't, I don't know, but uh, yeah, earache is the worst. And then you have earache, and you're trying to, you know, you're trying to stop yourself having earache by moving your jaw a lot. You know, ah, oh, you know, if I keep moving my jaw, I'm gonna. You know, unbreak my ear, uh, but then you start getting jaw ache, and then you get face ache, and you know, right time to bed. So I had uh, a lot of that going on yesterday. Well, I'm not sure how far away we are from our destination. Let's have a quick check. Our map, okay. Oh, we're not too far. We're past Dijon. Uh, there is Paris, so we've come come off it. Yeah. So we're on the last leg, really, to Lyon. Okay. Yeah, France is massive. This car, please hurry up. Don't make me slow down. You're gonna make me slow down, aren't you? You're gonna make me slow down. Ugh. Cars. Slow cars in the slow lane should be banned. Probably catch him up again, and the same things will happen. Okay, the sun is well and truly going to go down soon. It's uh, 20 to 8 in the afternoon or at night. We're still making our way to Lyon. Beautiful Lyon in the south of France.
Okay. Oh. <laughs> I always fall a bit short. Enter. Oh, 64 pounds. This hill. Okay, we are now cruise controlling. I think that was our last tow road before we hit Leon, so. Should be plain sailing now. Straight into Leon. It's been quite nice as well. We haven't had much nighttime driving. Um, in the first episode, obviously, we did towards the end. But uh, most of the driving from Birmingham to Leon has been uh, in the daylight, which is nice. So the only thing I want track IO for really is just to see how beautiful this game is, you know, to have a good look around. Um, I don't think you need, you know, I don't, it's nice to have when you're not recording. I think if I was recording, um, I think it would probably do do your head in, me having the uh, track IR on. Just because uh, I do tend to move around quite a bit when I when I record. And you've seen the screen just move you know, left and right constantly is... Uh, I suppose it can get on your nerves a bit. Okay, I do want to slow down a bit though. Slow down. Wow! Wow! Look at that. That looks awesome. This tunnel. Look at the look at the, uh, the line in the middle. Oh, Leon, lion. Okay, got it. See the connection. And uh, happy I made that connection. So that's uh, that's pretty pretty cool. First time we've seen that uh, the bridge with the lion. Maybe Leon means lion in English. Don't know. Okay, it's 43 miles an hour. So you do want to slow down just a bit. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in Lyon or Leon. Whoops. Oh no no, stop. <sighs> okay. You can just about see when it goes from red to green. Clutch in, brake on. Just waiting for the lights to change. Come on, like oh green. So gas, clutch out. We'll take it fairly wide. Okay. You wanna go left here? Didn't like that into fourth. Should have gone into sixth, really. Um, okay. Go straight over here. It's green, well, yellow. 
Whoa, that was yellow. No way. AI. And then we're turning left into uh, Sun Builders, I think. Yes, we are. Okay. Where are we putting the... Uh... Oh, this will be fun. <laughs> okay, we're just clutching it at the moment. Well, we'll have a go. We'll have a go. Maybe it's easier with the... Oh. Maybe it's easier with the uh, with the steering wheel. Okay. Let's go into reverse. Yeah, it might be a bit easier. I don't know. It is until you can't see where the uh, the load is going. Oh god. Just skip the parking presenter. That's what we do. Job completed. Oh, good work. So what do we do? We uh, we lumber delivered from Birmingham to uh, to Leon. It looks like we just leveled up to uh, level 22. We are master. Yeah. Uh, we've driven 675 miles. It's taken us uh, well over uh, 24 hours. You've seen quite a bit of fuel. Um, yeah, 22,000 we got for that. Awesome. Let's uh, continue. All right, we leveled up. Uh, I guess long uh, long distance. Um, Probably high value cargo. Yeah, we'll go high value. Perfect. Okay, so we're uh, we're connected. We've turned off. Boom. Uh, six percent damage. Let's check our diagnostics. Uh, the chassis. Yeah, we're yeah seven grand. And uh, we've got uh, minus twenty one. So we're not doing too bad. Not well. I don't think we're doing too bad anyway. We're going to be up in the money soon. But uh, thank you very much for watching. My name is Stocker Gloss. This is Euro Truck Simulator 2. Take care and ciao for now. Come on now, let's get together in perfect harmony. I got 20 acres.